Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom, and today we're starting some seeds inside. Once again, we've done a few of these videos, but you know, technology continues to evolve. There's some neat little products out there, so I want to talk to you about our setup we have this year. So, what do you need to start seeds? There's really just a few important elements. One, light. Two, great soil. Three, warmth. And four, water. And of course, you've got to put it in a container. But those four elements really make seed starting successful. Here we have some trays. We filled them with a Johnny's 512 mix, which is a mix specifically made to kind of start plants. You can use other seed starting mix. It doesn't matter where you get it. Just be sure to use a seed starting mix because it's a little bit lighter and the seeds tend to grow better in that type of medium. You don't want to go take soil from your garden and just start the seeds in that. You want to check which seed starting mix you're using. If it doesn't have any nutrients in it, you may need to fertilize, but really it depends on exactly what mix you're using as to whether or not you're going to fertilize your seedlings before you put them outside. Be sure to start with a mix that's moist, but not wet. You want it so that as you hold it together, it feels like it's a little bit moist, but no water's coming out of it. You place it in the little individual cells of your tray. You just want the soil loosely placed in. Then you place your seeds on top of the soil, then a little more soil, depending on how big your seed is, on top of that. So you've got your medium, the seed, and then a little bit more of the medium on top. In terms of watering, I like to keep my mix evenly moist by misting. You no longer need to keep the medium evenly moist once the seedlings start to emerge. Rather, let it dry out and then water. In terms of light, we're using artificial grow lights, and this particular light is able to be raised up as the plants grow. Now that's important because you want the light approximately two to four inches above the tops of the plants. Higher than that, the plants may stretch in order to reach the light and become leggy. So if you keep the lights closer to the plant, the plants will tend to stay nice and tight and lower to the ground. I'm using a seed starting mat. This mat keeps the soil warm. It actually has a probe that goes into the soil and then it registers what the temperature of the soil is. I can actually set the temperature of the soil. I set the soil at 80 degrees for germination, and I'm gonna lower that temperature a bit as the plants begin to grow. I label the rows of seedlings that I've started here. That way I remember what I've planted, and then if I want to move them into different pots, bigger pots before putting them outside, I'll also label the individual pots. But you can see we've used these great little wooden sticks, labeled them, and that way we can tell what everything is here, because honestly, I would just forget. Come back every week for all of our tips, hints, and helps at Growing Wisdom.